Bloodhound, the incredible 1,000 mile an hour car will be unlike any other vehicle. It's part car, part fighter jet and part spacecraft. The car has existed on paper for some time, but now various components including its iconic tail fin are starting to take shape. Building this record-smashing monster requires a very special set of skills, however, and the project would not be possible without the expertise of the RAF's engineers. After all, they're building a car that will travel faster than a Typhoon strike fighter flying at ground level. This car is an aeroplane. This is what it is. It's an aeroplane. It's got to be built to aeroplane standards. It's got to be safe. It's got to be reliable. We've got to operate it in a very difficult climate on a desert. Um, you know, uh, temperatures will be varying from sort of freezing right the way up to about 35 or 40 C. Um, it's got to operate safely under those conditions. 71 IR Squadron from RAF Wittering was chosen to assist with the project due to its outstanding reputation for innovation and precision. Specialist understanding of the stresses applied to mechanical components at supersonic speeds is essential, and the tail fin has been redesigned several times since the original brief. We've now got the stage where the tail fin is about the size of on a hawk, um, and where it was a very, very small thing, it's now a substantial piece of engineering. So it's very much like a, a fin on a jet fighter. Um, it's constructed in the same way, so it's an aluminium structure with a riveted skin and it's absolutely key to Andy's stability as the speeds increase. It's going to be the aerodynamics of the car that keep him going a straight line and not just the, the wheels against the ground and steering it just like a normal car would do. There are a few bits that are absolutely critical in Bloodhound SSC and the tail fin is one of them. This is going to be the hardest working tail fin in history because we are going at ground level faster than any jet fighter has ever been, a thousand miles an hour, where the aerodynamic pressure gets up to 12 tonnes per square metre. If one of these panels at the front edge of the fin starts to peel back, the airflow will get in there and it will be catastrophically bad for the car. I'm not worried about that because 71 Squadron do that for the day job. Flying jet fighters, I've relied on their skill in the past. They are now working to the same world-class skill with the Bloodhound fin. So for 71 Squadron, thanks guys. And you can find out more about the Bloodhound project by visiting bloodhoundssc.com or discover the many engineering opportunities available with the Royal Air Force at rafcareers.com.